Cell phones, computers, and other electronic devices, they play a large part in our daily routine. And according to the National Sleep Foundation, about 90% of Americans regularly use an electronic device in the hour before they go to bed. Now, is all that screen time harming our sleep? Dr. Sarani joins us to discuss. Dr. Sarani, good morning. Thank you so good much morning. for being with us today. So, is screen time before bed harming our sleep? Absolutely, look at this, we all have <laughs> those cell phone. Yes. I think uh, we, we all got glued to it. Uh, one of the thing is that you have to look at the circadian rhythm of the body. So there is a small area in the brain called hypothalamus. It sets up our clock. It's a 24.1 hour cycle and then you know we shrink it down to 24 hours. So some of the hormones are there when we wake up and some of the hormone uh, start coming up which helps us to put to sleep. So when we are trying to wake up, the cortisol level goes up and when we are trying to go to sleep, the one of the hormone called melatonin. One of the thing is very clear that whenever you have a blue light which is emitted by the cell phone, which is emitted by your iPad, computers, laptops, everything emits a short wavelength uh, and that co causes a suppression of the melatonin. So when that hormone is not there, what guess what? You're charged up, you can't sleep, you have a fragmented sleep. The other thing is a lot of the teens working a lot on the computer, iPad and all that, they don't go out. Biggest challenge is even your daytime long use of the computers and blue light will impair your sleep in the night. It kind of suppresses the melatonin from coming in. So I think that is one of the key reasons is that we got to limit the time. So the blue light on the screen is a culprit. That's that what is. That is what we feel like if you have a kind of a red light or an orange light that's not a problem. One of the key thing is if you want to prevent, what you need to do is you need to dim the light. Sometimes in Kindle you see that it emits but it's a very low frequency. The second thing is a lot of the time now we have a glasses coming in which kind of uh, filter the blue light out. Uh, the key thing is when you go to the bedroom you want to have a technology free zone. You go to the bedroom one hour before but guess what, what we are doing? We are watching TV, we are on our laptop, we fall asleep, you have a delay in the sleep onset and you have a very fragmented sleep and that's the reason you're very sleepy and when you wake up well, guess what what you need is a coffee and coffee to worry you and you know sleep is important not getting enough sleep can lead to health problems right absolutely I think you know once you have a fragmented sleep it kind of stimulate your catecholamine it causes hardening of your vessel increase the risk of high blood pressure heart attack stroke and all that and you know for those that are tech savvy there are many apps that you can download in order to um, reduce the light or just turn off maybe like night mode type of deal. I have a quick question before we leave. I know that we've been talking about devices, but what about having the TV on and the radio on in the background while you're sleeping? Does your body really rest right? Not really, because you know you feel like you're sleeping, but what happens is your brain keeps on waking up and you have a tremendous amount of sleep fragmentation that causes fatigue and tiredness in the morning. See, that's what my mom does. I have to get after her. Thank you so much, Dr. Shut Sarani. It off. <laughs> Turn it off for being with us this morning. If you have a question for Dr. Sarani, all you have to do is text the question to the number on your screen. That is 361-855-6397.